this is what I was talking about. Like when when you they you you read one thing, then when you call the recruiter, the recruiter will tell you one thing, but then when you get in with the company, it's it's a totally different thing from what it was told to you. It, even even the people in orientation showed that sold you a whole bunch of bullshit dreams that are not true. So so let me get this straight. So you 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 got hip with 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 JCT and right. you said, oh, okay, I'm I wanna fuck with this southeast southeast regional because this I'm, is not one lane. I'm I'm from Georgia and I wanna right. I wanna get home every week. So right. let, let me ask you this before I before I finish that out. Let me ask you this. If that was the case, why you just didn't go company? Company at fifty cents a mile. I can't do nothing with that. I'm about money. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't. I don't know if you're gonna do regional. If you're gonna do regional, at 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 leasing, at leasing the truck, you got to right. at least you got to at least put in. You got to at least put in 3,000 miles in order to see some Exactly, good and I was only getting like 2,200, maybe 2,500 miles a week. Well, maybe but once they take again, all them damn fees out, I wasn't making no money. But but again, Zippor, uh, and I'm playing devil's advocate with you. I love you. But okay. I'm, but I'm just playing <laughs> devil's advocate with you. If, right. If, if, but if you're only doing regional, if you're only doing regional, you're not gonna make no. You're not gonna make no money. You. you but that's not. the thing. I never touched a regional run. I had to do over the road run. Right, and that's what I'm saying. That's where you're gonna see the money at. If you if you would have just stayed regional. So you why would, be, would they offer all these regional runs and then tell you you don't have the we don't have the miles to give you what you need and force you to go over the road? That's bullshit. Like what, you're lying. What, I I get that part. I get that part. But I'm talking about. I'm talking about lease versus company. See, if you was going to do regional, then you should have just went company. Because at at 20 you regional, you're not going to you you're not going to if you want to get home every week, you want to be home Friday and Saturday. I mean, you want to get home Friday and then be off Saturday, Sunday and then come back Monday, then regional is only going to give you an average of 2,800 miles at least. Right, right. But I, but this is what they was telling me. They were saying I was only going to get a minimum of 500 miles a week during regional. Why are you offering regional positions and then forcing people to go over the road? That's not what I got hired for. Okay. Because I was very specific. I did not want to do OTR. Okay. So I got you with that. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that side. But what I'm what I'm still trying to say is as far as the money goes, if that was the case, if that was the case, then you shouldn't have took the lease. Uh, you shouldn't have took the lease program. You should have just okay. took, you what you should have did. If you want to just, you know, if you didn't want to go over the road, which I get you because I definitely don't want to go over the road. But you leasing and regional ain't going to work. I, I can tell you that right now. It, it's just not. Okay. Gonna, it's just not going to work. Which so why saying? don't they? Be, why don't they be honest with you and say it's not going to work, or just don't offer it at all? Uh, they should say about, regional for leasing. company and not yeah. lease purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I agree with you on that. See, what the company is trying to do is take all of the stuff, all of the, all of the, all of the responsibilities off of them and put it all on you they know uh, of course they know that you're not going to make no money regional in a lease right at in a lease and how and and how you how how your money fluctuates every right. every week and you over here talking about yeah. how much they taking out for the for the truck every week and the fuel and all right. like that you ain't going to make no money. right you're not going to make no money whatsoever. Regional. nope you're just not so nope, it's not gonna happen but unless when, you're on the operator. But when you told them, now here you go. Now I'm back on your side. When you told them, <laughs> hey, I I just want to be regional. Then what they should have did was kept you regional. But see the bullshit, the bullshit comes into play when they be like, oh, okay, well we're gonna 
we we got a hot load and you're the only one that can run it. So right. what you do, what you do, you be like, oh, okay, no problem. Hey, no problem. Then all of a sudden they they hit you again with another hot load and say, oh, well, you're the only one that can run it. And then that's when uh-huh. you get stuck going back over the road. And when you and when you went to what Tyler T- Terry or whatever, when you Tyler, back, yeah, because apparently the regional DM mm-hmm. Tyler is the drive manager over the over the road DMs. Okay, regional are their own boss. Okay, so in order for me to stop dealing with dealing with Glenn, no. I would have to come off of his board and go OTR, and that was not an option for me. Okay, so now that now now the the back and forth is going on between you and the driver manager, right? Uh, and we was not getting along at all. Okay, so and you, it, that's that's not even that's not even half of it, sweetheart. So you was just telling you was you was just telling them like, look, I want to go back to my regional. I'm good. Right. Yada yada yada. Right. What, what was the back and forth between you and the uh, and and the fleet manager? I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was in West Memphis, Arkansas about three weeks ago. God damn it, man. My cell phone got stolen from the pilot. You know, they got the pilot, the loves, and the petrol right there when you cross the bridge. Right. Into West Memphis, Arkansas. Right. So I, I messaged them on the Qualcomm saying my Uh-oh. Hold cell phone because I don't have a GPS. I broke my Ram McNally. Right. Okay, I took the load they gave me uh, to the terminal. I refused to drop it off at Walmart because I wanted a phone. It's like uh, that's a safety issue to be out on the road without a cell phone. Period. Yeah, yeah you know I, what I'm saying. I, what I'm saying. I, I, I so agree the, with this, you. this, this is what they tell me. Mm-hmm. They don't have no lows going from Oklahoma to Georgia. They sent me way up to Arkansas mm-hmm. with written down directions mm-hmm. that I had to follow. Got lost a couple of times. Okay. Couldn't get no help from the DM over the Qualcomm. Okay. So he was more concerned about me not getting to his load on time instead of him helping me get there on time because he know I lost my cell phone and I don't have a GPS. And he asking me, well, why you don't have a cell phone yet? Why you don't have a map? And now my load is going to be late. So now I'm fucking with your commission. So now now you have a problem. Okay, hold up. Stop, you know what I'm saying? Stop, 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 stop. This this man this 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 DM you you already told them, hey you know my 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 Ram and Nelly is on the fritz, somebody stole my phone. Now let me ask you this, about to play devil's advocate. Uh, who okay. who who who's your provider? At the time it was Metro, but now I'm with Verizon. Oh okay okay yeah then I, I'm I'm assuming. I'm assuming with Metro, you you actually had to go back to Georgia in order to replace that. Thank phone. you, thank you, okay. thank you. I, I I suspended the service. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had a tablet, so I had to find Wi-Fi, and I'm stressed out and I'm frustrated right. because I'm writing down all these freaking directions. Uh oh. Hold on, right quick. I think I lost. I get lost there. one time. There I get lost one time. Mm-hmm. The dispatch named Danny gonna tell me to follow the sunset. Follow the sunset. And the response <laughs> that I got from him, the response that he got from me, I'm pretty sure he did not like it. I, I would imagine. <laughs> All right, so hold up, right quick. Let's let's uh, let's 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 uh, let's let's again pull the rug. From it took up. me three weeks to get home. Well, hold on. Let's let's pull the rug from up under that now. Uh, I'm not sure that there's a lot of me- uh, uh, metros metros around, but no, it's not. But let me ask you this: uh, when when your phone got lost, do you got insurance on it? Yes, I had insurance on the phone. Okay, but it was a it was a BS company anyway because my calls was always dropping, the phone was always freezing. Right. I couldn't really do much with the phone, but at least I had a GPS that worked. All right, well, I'm you know I'm not talking about the service itself. As far as the phone goes, when you have insurance on the phone, that's that's through a separate company. Uh, I know my phone is through. I got T-Mobile, but my phone insurance is through Assurion. So if I if okay. I if if my phone get lost or stolen or something like that, I could just call it. I I could call T-Mobile up, 
have them to put a hold on my, you know, put a freeze on my, on my, yeah, on my that's phone. That's what I did with Metro, but I never went back to them. Right. I put a freeze on my phone, and then mm -hmm. I would call up Asurion, uh, of course, call them up because I can't get online or anything like that. Uh, right. Call up Asurion and be like, look, you know, my phone, the, uh, the S22, you know, they'll put in the claim and then they'll get you a phone out. Uh, they'll get you a phone out ASAP. But again, even with that, you still have to be routed back to Georgia in order to get. Thank it. you. Because it's not like you could just roll up to a cell phone place with a tractor trailer and get a phone. That is absolutely impossible. Yeah. So I'm on my way to Arkansas. Arkansas. The man wouldn't tell me how much drive time. Well, I knew I had like four and a half hours left. Yeah. I was like, okay, so where do I need to stop? How far can I go? Where will I end up at? The man told me absolutely nothing. The man kept saying, you're going to be late delivering my load and you're going to be behind. So I got caught. I got caught in the mountains in Arizona and ran out of drive time. Okay. By the time I get to the place, I'm two hours over my drive time. So now Ooh. I'm 100 hot. I am 100 hot because I am two hours over my drive time. So I emailed Law How and explained to them what, it, what had happened and the reason why I was two hours, two hours over my drive time. Wait, wait. So The you man wouldn't give me a destination of a truck stop, how far I need to go before I get to a truck stop, why I take my 10-hour break, or none of that. So wait. He was just like, figure it out on your own. Wait, wait. So yo, so yo Qualcomm went out for the two hours or you just drove I, when, when, when it got down to zero i kept driving because i was in the mountains where you gonna pull over it in the mountains oh, okay okay going through arizona okay. where you gonna pull over it yeah see i got i got you see what it see the dispatcher right here is just it's just not giving you no kind of help at all and the man and, didn't give and the dispatcher come to find out he is like a he is like a Man that acts like a five year old child. So he's like he's like a problem for everybody. But he, he got these thirty two years under his belt of dispatching, but you still ain't shit. You know, Just because you've been dispatched for thirty two years don't mean nothing. Because you're supposed to help your driver. You you know what? This this is what I don't understand with with, with dispatchers. They or dispatchers, driver managers, they supposed to help you. They supposed to be there right. to help. And it sounds mm -hmm. like it sounds as though this particular one just been a just been a problem. Now let me ask you this: He is an asshole. Now, USDA me, approved. Let me ask you this: Now, being that being that you are a lease driver, you you were subject to uh, the driver uh, manager getting you loads. You wasn't able to go on the load board and pick your own loads. No, they had planners that booked your loads for you. As a lease driver. Yep, and it gets even better, honey. It gets even better. So you ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> so were so were you able to choose? Like he'll call you up and be like, "Yo, I got I got load A for this, and then I got load B for that." Would he would was he able to let you choose the load that you want, or you pretty much had to run the loads that they had? No, what no what what happened was is that if they sent me a load. If they send me a load, um, if they send me a load, mm -hmm. if I felt like it was too far for me to drive, mm -hmm. I would decline it. Okay. Okay. So you, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, no, I'm not going there so because it, I could choose where I wanted to go and didn't have to go. Okay. So in other words, you, yeah. In other words, you could choose where you wanted to go and, and not want to go in situations like that. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Now, since, since, since you mentioned that Zippor, then if you was able to choose where you wanted to go and where you didn't want to go, then why did you take the lows that took you into Arkansas, nor I mean, uh, Minnesota. Uh, because know. they, because when I was in Oklahoma, he told me. I even talked to the planner, Jim. He told me that there is no loads leaving out of Oklahoma going straight to Georgia. I would have to go up west and then come back down south. This where the problem comes in. It go ahead, right? I wind up picking up a um 
a load and what is it, Tolson? Tolleson or something like that, Tolleson, oh. Arizona. Okay. I picked up a load in Tolleson where they have, like, dropping hooks at, right? Right. So I get that with the empty trailer. Okay. I hook up to the loaded trailer. Right. There's no bills in the trailer, and the last driver left his lock on the trailer because they use those big, thick locks. So I had to have somebody come and, and, and saw it off so oh. I could put my lock on. Okay. okay. So he told me, don't worry about the bills. Just keep rolling, and we'll find somewhere to fax the bills to you to make sure that you get the bills, right? Right. So I went on my tablet, and I wrote down the direction. So the first stop was with Dokola, Georgia. I didn't have no problem getting to Dokola, Georgia. No problem whatsoever. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm petty, if you haven't noticed. Well, I'm going to tell you what I did. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I I get to Pocola, Dokola, Georgia, right? Right. Drop that load. Okay. I had another load that was supposed to live deliver at nine o'clock in Athens, Georgia, because there they only do night loads, so it was like nine o'clock at night. Okay. So I wrote down the direction to that and I got lost. I got lost like hell. I'm off of seventy eight. And I'm from Georgia, but seventy eight is tricky. Okay. So you got to make sure you take the right turns and stuff. So I stopped at a Walmart. I stopped at a Sam's Club. I'm getting directions from strangers trying to get this load there on time to deliver this load. Mm -hmm. I called my drive manager. I text my drive manager on the Quailcom, Glenn Elkins. Okay. I text him on the Quailcom and I said, I am lost. Can you help me with these directions? He was like, well, you're only eight miles away. I said, but I am lost. I'm driving in circles. I really don't know which way to go. I've asked for directions twice from two strangers because he did mention, well, you stopped at Walmart, you stopped at Sam's Club. I was like, yeah, because I was looking for directions. Right. So the man going to tell me, I don't understand why you don't have a cell phone or have a map. That's but, all he had to say. But Listen, the, that's all he had to say. I turned that motherfucker, because I'm from Georgia. I turned that motherfucker truck around and drove all the way from Athens, Georgia to the pilot in Villa Rica, parked that damn truck the next morning when he got me a cell phone. I uh, didn't give two fucks about your load at this point because you don't give no shits about me. Okay, so you so okay, so the first thing that comes out of their mouth instead of in, instead of helping you right the first thing that comes out of his mouth, smart mouth that is right uh why you ain't got no cell phone, why you ain't got no GPS? Why but you don't you, have a map and why you don't have a cell phone that's but, what he said but I said you, oh okay, but didn't you <laughs> but didn't you kind of indicate it? To them that you you didn't have a cell phone. Yes, as soon as my cell phone got stolen, I emailed him on the Quellcom. You know what his response to me was? Was do you need me to repower the load because the load needs to be on time and it has to get here and get there at a certain time? I have a driver that just been emptied and I can have him to you to repower the load. No, fuck that. You're not repowering my load. I'm going to drop this, I'm going to take this load to Oklahoma where it's supposed to be, and then we're going to go from there. Because a couple of days before that, I was parked in Jackson, Georgia, Pilot. You know they don't have no lights out there. Owner operator driving for Snyder took the whole left side of my tractor. So I had to go to Oklahoma anyway to get the tractor fixed, to get the mirror fixed. They sent the tractor off to the body shop. Took like two weeks for it to come back, but by then I was over it. You know what I'm saying? So he gets mad. He gets mad at me because I drove. I said, fuck this load. I came all the way home. I don't need no GPS to get home because I'm from Atlanta. I'm born and raised. Right. I don't need no GPS to get home. I drove that truck and that trailer all the way from Athens to the pilot in Villa Rica, parked it, went and got me a cell phone, and then I dropped the load the next night. After I dropped the load the next night, I was because I get sleepy at night, so I drove as long as I could, and I pulled over, and I went to sleep, and I slept too late because they stop at seven o'clock in the morning. It's from seven p.m. to seven a.m. Okay. And instead of them, because they did not have an appointment time for that load in Athens, Georgia, right? Right. I mean, not Athens, Georgia. The last stop I had. They didn't have no appointment time for that load. So I get there at 7 o'clock. I check in. Well, I get there at 8.30. I check in. Security guard laughing at me because they closed at 8 o'clock. So I said, okay, 
I texted him again. I said, why didn't y'all reschedule or give me another appointment time on this load? Why would y'all tell me to drive my hours of service to the load knowing that I was not going to make it because I do not drive at night. I get sleepy. I have fatigue. I'm not going to kill myself for you because if something happens to me, I'm, I am replaceable. Of course. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So they get mad again because I said, okay, since you don't want to help me, fuck it. I drove from that last stop all the way back to Georgia, parked that truck at that Villa Rica, and I came home. So then he was like, oh, you you had a problem finding the 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 uh the place to the place to drop the load off, but you didn't have no problem getting home. I said, you damn right because I'm born and raised in Georgia. I don't need a GPS to get home. <laughs> you know, I what? know how to get home. I said, you know how many times I asked you to help me, and your response was, why well, I don't have a cell phone or a map, so I went and got a cell phone with a GPS. <laughs> you that's know? your fault, not mine. Yeah. And then he gonna say that's two service failures. I said so, and. Yeah. You know what? This, this is this. You know, some companies at like, at, at like, you know, if they can't.